Hello everybody, thank you for watching HM Studio. It's Hadi and in this video I'll show you how to make a realistic looking wooden floor out of only one texture without using any third party applications such as Photoshop. I'm going to show you the easiest way that you can create these kind of materials, but we're not going deep into details. I'll make some more videos on how to do that in the near future, but for now I'm trying to keep it simple. Alright, that's being said, let's start making the material. We're gonna go in and create two materials based on these textures which I've already loaded into the material editor. As you can see, this one is a little bit bright and we have this one also which is a bit darker. Okay, let's start with this one. First of all, I need to create a simple corona material. Then I'm going to plug this bitmap to the diffuse node and apply the material to the shader wall. Now let's render off this material without anything else added to it. Okay, here is the result. Now let's deal with the reflection. If I increase the value up to 1, this will be the result. But I'm going to create the same amount of reflection with this map that we already have. In order to do that, we need to first desaturate the texture. Let's add a color correction node and plug the diffuse texture to that. Now double click on the color correction node and drop down the saturation all the way down to make the image black and white. As you can see the amount of reflection has drastically dropped down but we can increase it back up by using an output map. So let's add the output map in between, double click on it and then we need to enable color map from here. This is a simple curves adjustment that you're probably familiar with how it works. But anyway, I'll make another video about how to use the output and composite maps, which in my opinion are the most important maps in the material making process. Now let's add a point in the middle of the curve, make it busier smooth, and then brighten things up to bring back the amount of reflection that we wanted. Okay, that seems to be fine. Now let's take care of the glossiness. My goal is to go for something like this. But we need to use a reflection glossiness map to change the way the reflection is spreading based on the dark and bright parts of the image. So, we're going to add another output map plug it to the color correction node and use it as our reflection glossiness map. Since our map is dark, we'll get a matte surface. So the brighter the map is, the glossier the result will be and the opposite is true as well. Now, in order to make the material more glossy, we need to once again enable the color map, add a point, turn it to Bezier Smooth and brighten the texture. In this part, you just need to experiment with the curve to find out how you can get the best result out of your texture. If I open up the preview window of this map, I can tell you that these darker areas will be blurry and these bright areas of the map will be glossy. If I change the angle, you can see the differences more clearly. Alright, this is the result with the glossiness map. Let me save this out so we could compare it to the one without the texture. You can clearly see the differences in the darker areas. We can still increase the contrast of our glossiness map, but I find this perfect. Okay, now we just need to add the bump map. As for the bump map, once again I'm going to use this map, but this time we don't need the output map in between. Well, the effect is too strong. Let's decrease the bump value until we get a good result. Okay. 
Okay, it looks good. Now let's apply the material to the floor and see the result. As I said, brighter areas will be glossy and darker area will be matte. Once again, let's compare it to the same material without the glossiness map. You can clearly see the huge differences between these two. We can still enhance the glossiness realism, but I guess you got the point and I prefer to start with the second material and show you how to do it with a darker texture. I don't think if it's necessary for me to describe everything all over again since the process will be the same for that one also. So you guys can just watch and learn. Alright guys, that was all for this lesson. I hope that you find it helpful and if you do, please consider to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. I also want to mention that you can tell me what kind of content you want to see on this channel. It would be easier for me to come up with new ideas for my future videos and I suppose it will be more helpful for you as well. So don't hesitate to write down your ideas in the comment section. Okay guys, I wish you a great day, be safe and see you next time.